hello 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 thank you for being here guys here i am with another tutorial and on this video i will give you a basic idea how you can reupholster a dining chair it has four screws you have to remove those screws and to uh, do this chair you don't have to have like a, a lot of experience no you only need a tool and you have to be positive in case if you never done something like this but if you are learning about a post and you want to do it and you feel nervous it's not a reason to be nervous this video will give you an idea how you can do it this is the fabric that i'm going to use and you can see how like a certain design is not plain so you have to make sure those lines are straight on that bottom cushion if it does line look crooked that it will ruin it it will look bad so make sure to those uh, bottom cushion look nice you will need a flat screwdriver you will need a snippet you will need a, a, a staple gun scissor and a marker and a measuring tape in case if you don't have a staple gun oh and you will need a, a staple puller in case if you don't have a staple gun you can replace that staple gun uh, with a hammer and that staple with a nail so you have to remove those four screws those screws sometimes are flip sometimes are flat and you will see uh, what kind of tool you need in in this uh, occasion those screws are flat so you're going to separate that wood from the chair and I'm only going to give you an idea how you can uh, do two chair. I'm only going to do two chair because it's not a reason. Is I think it is not necessary to show you how you can do the four chair. You can get the idea just by watching me. How do I do two? So as soon as I remove the uh, the bottom cushion from the chair, I have to remove the whole material. And on this time, uh, this chair they cover a long time ago do you know why because you have a nail most of the time when the chair is not at all have a staple so i am using this little uh, snippet just to remove those uh, nail a lot of people they don't remove the old material just they just put a phone or just put the new material on top of the old uh, old material and that is not good if you go into uh, if you are learning about a posture learning the right way do that thing right and do it one time uh, some people say well the customer is not seeing and he's not gonna notice because i'm going to put a phone on top and then i'm going to put the material he's not gonna notice no but the point is not that the point is you are charge you are charging money to a uh, reupholstery this chair and you have to do the right thing you have to learn and right remove the old material if you have to put a new phone do it if you don't have to put a new phone you just need to repair so just repair the phone you will decide that when you are removing the old material which way you're gonna go Re uh, put a new phone or just repairing or just adding so i removed the old cover already and by this point i already know what do i have to do with the phone and this uh cotton is good so i just trim it a little bit and I just will add a half inch on top. It is necessary to add a half inch on top. To be honest, no. Because that uh, that material is in good condition. So, but I will add a half inch on top. That way, th this will, will look better. And when the customer sit, will feel comfortable, and will last for longer. So when it's cotton, you have to be uh, be careful when you put them uh, glue. I will use this kind of glue. They sell like a, a bottom uh, can, it's like a spray glue. And that is uh, perfect for this too. Uh, a lot of time, uh, it's not necessary to put glue. You can hold that phone on that part uh, with tape. You have to measure in the phone and don't cut the phone exactly, just give it one inch extra. 
and you just trim it later. So I am putting glue. Now I'm going to, oh, I am putting this one backwards, so you have to be this way. When you put phone, make sure to that phone look even. You don't want to see like bump through the phone because if it, the bump is too big or it's too notable, you will notice when you put the fabric. You will notice that bump even on the fabric, so that's not good. Make sure to be as smooth as possible. Trim all the phone, the excess phone, trim it like I did. And you see that cushion already have half inch phone. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other cushion. Same thing. I put glue just to make sure to hold that uh, cut in place and trim a little bit. I don't want that uh, material to be um, over the wood. No, I want it exactly on that edge of the wood because the phone will go over the edge. So you have to do the same thing too. This is one way how you can do this chair. There are a lot of different ways how you can do this chair. You can do it with the uh, pan or pen all around. You can do it on two piece. I am going to do it on one piece. Just wrap it with a new material. That's how I'm going to do it. But you can do it in a different ways. You can put a piping. You can put a top stitch and and will change the look of the bottom cushion. But a lot of customers don't want to stitch, not even piping on chair, because from there it start uh, ripping. So I got the bow button cushion with the phone, so now you have to measure the material. Do not cut them exactly, give it one inch and each side extra. See, it had 20, I give it 22. No, it had 19 and a half and I give it 22. And it's a square piece. So I got the material right here. You, you have to square the material. It's a, if it, the material has like a certain design or has like a certain uh, picture, you have to make sure to cut both seat even. In case if you have, let's say it, this is an ex example. In case if you have a flower, the material have a big flower, uh, make sure that flower is on the center of the cushion. It's, it has to be on the center. Do not put that flower uh, like uh, on the side, no, put them exactly on the center. You have to buy enough material uh, because you want for chair to be uh, to look equal. So I got that two uh, bottom cushion already. If you see, you notice that cherry doesn't have a bottom in there, and that is not good. I recommend you to put bottom. It, it didn't come with bottom, so but uh, I prefer to put it. That is the material for furniture if you don't have the material you can put any material just make sure both uh, chair had the same material uh, can be black can be green any color but it has to be I prefer to be equal and uh, sometimes uh, some people put like a chipboard too so uh, at this point you have to make sure to, uh, to uh, divide the material equal on four parts of the chair see what I'm gonna see right now is equal on the side. So I just hold the wood and put one staple. Do the same thing on the other. Hold it with one hand and pull a staple. Hold it with one hand and pull it with the other one and pull a staple. See? I hold it with one hand, then I pull it with the other and pull a staple. So because it's fabric, this process is easy. But if it, this was leather or was a hard vinyl, uh, might be a little bit difficult. A little bit, not that much. In case if you don't have experience, it will be like a little bit difficult. So, when you pull right here, do not pull through inside of the wood. See, I, I draw right there two, two arrows. In fabric, this is not like a hard. Do not pull it this way. It has to be the other way. This way. See? You have to you have to pull it through outside because you want to get rid of that wrinkle. And when you pull it, uh, that pull has to be equal all around. In case if you don't pull it equal, you will notice a bump on the side. See right there. And same thing on the back. I pull it through that side. 
through the side, you see, through the outside. Same thing right here. And then right there. I got it that thing. Now I just need to do the side. And same thing. This is almost a square. It's like a uh, one inch less on the back. But some chair have like a 14 inches or 18 inches on the front. And have like 15 on the back. See, I, I, I pull it that just to show you. I I pull it through inside and it have a wrinkle. On fabric, that's not a big deal. But when you are doing at a vinyl or when you are doing at a leather and it has like a two inches of foam, if you don't have experience, that might be a big, uh, a hard, must give you a hard time. So I just pull it right there. And these chairs are easy to do it. So this bottom cushion is done. This is one chair. If you uh, after you done, make sure check all those corners. You don't want to see any wrinkle to see it from outside. Can be on uh, the bottom, but on the bottom uh, will hide it, the black material. So I do the same thing with the other chair. The corner, make sure the material is divided on equal. Hold it and pull it. Cut those uh, excess material on the corner and start pull it uh, to the side. Make sure those light my straight. In case if you are not straight, you have to pull those staple and do it again, like I just like I did. See. I, I, I did it wrong and you saw it on there. It's very important to do it right and do it before the customer takes those chair. Because soon as if you made it wrong and you don't notice and the customer see it, he might say, oh, I don't like right here. And then you have to fix it. Better to fix it before the customer uh, come for the chair. So I got that two bottom cushion almost done. I just have to put the uh, bottom Cambridge material in there. A lot of people, they don't fold it. But a lot of people who do furniture, they always fold it. I recommend you to fold it because that's the right way. But a lot of people, they don't fold it. They don't fold the material. See, I cut it extra, then I fold it, then I put a staple. Right here is not necessary to put a lot of staple because there is a wood in there. I make sure that black material come in place. You don't want to see any wrinkle. Okay, I got one done and I'm going to do the other one. Same thing. So I got it. It is done. So now I have to put uh, uh, this chair together. I have to assemble it. And here I got one. And I'm going to get the other one. And here I got the other one. So now it is time to uh, put those four screws.
so one chair is done in the same process with the other one So these shares are done and you can see it right there. I'll show you how you can do two. The process is easy. You just get the fabric and remove the old material, add phone if you have to, then you start wrapping with the new material and look right there. That is the result. It is not hard to do it. What do you need to do? It? You have to have the tool and you have to be positive. The, and there are the four chair, dining chair. This is just an idea how you can reupholstery uh, your dining chair. You don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be a professional to do this job. So this is just an idea. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I upload a video related to upholstery so often. Uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel, feel free to do it. Any comment, leave it in the comment section of this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you and see you in the next video.